It's time to build what every tech computer YouTuber should have. My very first test bed. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. All right, so today I am going to be doing something that I've always wanted to do for the longest time, and that is build myself a test bed. I've always wanted one of these so that I could test my computer components when I buy them. A test bed would have come in really handy when I built my Hackintosh and had a bad motherboard. A majority of my problems was hardware and not getting the right processor for the motherboard and then getting a defective motherboard. And when I rebuilt Baby Blue 2.0 over there and had a bad motherboard. All right, so the first thing that I learned is you should test your components before you do a build because this is the second time I got burned this way by not testing and building a computer, putting it all together only to find out that the motherboard doesn't work. So this is going to solve all of this. Now, just in case you didn't know what a test bed is, it's usually like a computer that lives outside of a case but it lives like on a frame and you can swap out components and test components freely i didn't get one of those <laughs> because i just happen to have a couple of extra cases lying around the house so i'm going to use an actual computer case as the test bed it'll still work it'll still be just fine and i want to go ahead and get this put together it's always good to have to a backup computer i do have my htpc but this is going to be like the test bed slash backup computer and just a FYI, Baby Blue 2.0 over there has been a major, major pain in my ass since I built her. I'm just having issues. I don't like ass rock motherboards. I, I just don't. But I'm going to learn and figure it all out. But that's a story in itself. Let's get into the components for this test bed build. The first thing I'm going to be throwing in there is, you know, the heart of the system. This is my extra AMD Ryzen 5 1600AF that is gonna be thrown in here just to get her up and running. Of course, test bed, you'll swap out stuff as I test stuff. But that's what's going in there right now. This is my old Asus Crosshair 6 motherboard that I'm really tempted to throw in Baby Blue 2.0 because, yeah. But it's going into the uh, test bed, so for now at least. I'm gonna install the OS on my old Chromarani 120 gigabyte SSD. Figured that's enough for a test bed, so had it lying around. Might as well take advantage of it, use it. This right here, I upgraded my mom's Hello Kitty build to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that means I had left over her old eight gigabyte kit. Two sticks of four gigabytes, 2666 megahertz yeah nothing to write home to mom and dad about but it'll get the test rig running so i'm using that other storage this is a three terabyte hdd that i picked up um i forgot the name brand of it oh yes yeah, wl and i love this hard drive i had it in my 2010 mac pro i used it to back up my youtube videos but the minute i took it out of there and put it in the original baby blue it started reporting bad sectors. So I don't know if this thing is on its last leg or not, but it's good enough to throw in like games and stuff like that that I want to test out. So I'm gonna use it. Use it till it dies. Speaking of death, <laughs> this is my old Wi-Fi Bluetooth card that I had in Baby Blue and Baby Blue 2.0. Come to find out that this is what was causing my Ryzen 9 3900X not to boot on the crosshair because it was doing it on my Velocita motherboard as well so I'm gonna throw it in here because I'm gonna need Wi-Fi because of, of where I'm gonna put this it's not gonna live over here with my main system this is just a nine foot HDMI cable whatever now this right here this is an RX 560 2 gigabyte <laughs> yeah crazy right um, the reason why I picked this up because since I feel like I've mastered the art of the Hackintosh, I am highly considering selling my 2010 Mac Pro. 
and if I do that I am not selling it with my RX 570 8 gigabyte inside of it I'm keeping that so this is going to replace that but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in to the test rig now because I do want to test it out and see if it works and I want to do a separate video on this too to see how well this thing can perform in gaming I didn't think it required any um, PCI power but it does six pin it's all good and the last thing is this I'm gonna go ahead and put the name on the screen because I can't remember it for the life of me but this is some no-name brand power supply that I picked up during New Egg's fantastic deals power supplies are a hot commodity these days so if you can get one at an affordable price you jump on it and that's what I did it's a 450 watt power supply it is bronze rated and I think it's fairly decent other than the fact that it's from a no-name company at least I never heard of them I checked out the power delivery it seems to be sufficient got two of them because it doesn't hurt to have extra power supplies lying around the house especially if you're a computer geek like me 450 watts 420 of it is on the 12 volt rail so that's more than enough to power up this system I think we'll be just fine with this and forty dollars is bronze rated why not take a chance this is the bit phoenix nova mesh tg i bought this thing last year got a good deal on it from amazon it was an open box and believe it or not this is what baby blue 2.0 was supposed to go in and I decided not to at the last minute because I started watching a couple of YouTube videos on um, people reviewing this case and they say even though they like the case it is kind of difficult to build in like it doesn't have sufficient space in the top to route your CPU power cables it's advertised as having space at the top for a 240 mil AIO which is what I wanted but a lot of people who reviewed this said there is no clearance whatsoever up there for an AIO. So when I found out all that, I didn't use it. So I'm gonna use it as the test bed. I could have used the old baby blue case, but why not try something new? I have this case lying around. I was gonna do a build in it and then sell it, but I just wanna build in it myself and seeing is believing. I just wanna see if all the talk is true. It's definitely a sharp looking case. Yeah, you could have mounted a AIO at the top here. I don't know what the hell those people were talking about. Cause there's, there's clearance. I can see it, I can eyeball it. I can eyeball it and see that there's room for an AIO at the top. So don't always believe what you hear. All you have to do is just move it up, move it forward. There's plenty of room. Oh, anyway, let's build. There she is. There's the test bed all put together and assembled. Pretty easy process. Now I just gotta load some stuff on there like my Steam library for game testing and all the necessary um, drivers for this motherboard here. And I'm happy. I'm happy that I have it. Now I got a test bed. Now I can really do some PC testing and playing around and bringing those videos to you guys and gals so thank you for coming along for the ride and 
if you enjoyed this video do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up but if you hated it you can give it a thumbs down but no matter what you do don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos but until then this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000 G little test bed I like it I like it one thing I did forget to mention though I, after building it I looked in there and you could totally fit a 240 mil radiator in the top it'll be tight it'll be snug but it could be done 